Ryan, thanks so much for joining me. Um, in this video segment, I'm going to introduce buffers. This will be um, what I call a level one or maybe 10th grade level introduction to buffers. So a buffer is a substance that can resist changes in pH. Now, uh, this is when small amounts of acid or base are added. It will change pH a little bit, but not drastically. Now, to have a buffer, what we have to be able to do or set up is a system that's in equilibrium. Okay, equilibrium means the reaction is reversible. And when it's reached equilibrium, our rate forward is equal to our rate of the reverse reaction. So every time a product is made, a reactant is made. So they happen um, back and forth at the same rate. Okay, so if I have one that is based on some generalized acid, okay, make H3O plus plus A minus. Okay, now if I add a little bit of base, the base will react with the acid and it will shift the reaction. Okay. If I add a little bit of acid, the acid will react with the base and shift the reaction. So the reaction can shift back and forth in response to the additions. Um, buffers are so important, especially in our bodies and chemical reactions. Our blood is buffered to maintain pH. Okay, but our blood has to keep around you know, pH 7.4. So anytime we, you know, add acidic um, things into our body, our blood has to be able to resist any changes when it takes in any components of those acidic. Okay, so that's just the, the, the gist of a buffer, is that a buffer has the ability to shift to make more product or shift to make more reactant in response to the addition of small amounts of a base or an acid in order to keep a relatively constant pH. Okay, hope that gives you at least an idea of buffers. I will be doing another video that delves a little bit more into the advanced details of buffers and buffer calculations. Thanks for joining me.